looking at uh, this drawing of this image rather of someone casting and trying to interpret in oils this area is rather under under described um, visually so I wondered about uh, replacing it with the study of some conifers and using different greens uh, in the conifers to differentiate and try and make this background and with a little more going on. We'll try glazes later on here for sunlight. So this chart shows um, mostly yellow greens and then blue greens over here. Um, cadmium yellow light and cerulean blue, cadmium yellow light and ultramarine and uh, cadmium yellow and ultramarine and cerulean blue mixed together and then cadmium yellow deep and ultramarine and lemon yellow and cerulean blue and it's this part here, the, the sort of blue side of it, that would be more interesting to try and paint, I think, uh, into this area of shadow. So, I've taken the drawing of the figure of casting and coated it in uh, PVA in water, which gives it a little bit of a sheen and just helps to protect the surface. And then I've taken a large brush and diluted ultramarine and white with some crimson and given all this a sort of wash behind to give the st the blue sort of underpainting um, that exists in the cast of this image. And then I've mixed some greens, some dark green, some yellow green, some blue green and working wet into wet on top of the uh, ultramarine white. I'm interested in creating an impression of the trees um, here so um, building this up I'm looking at different colours of, of um, conifer and you do get a variety of greens in conifers uh, according to this image you see lighter yellow green, golden green, blue green, deeper blue green and a sort of dusty powder blue colour. Let's try this. So the, generally the conifer is growing the branches sort of shoot upwards like this and I'm going to quickly I think with oils uh, the more general this, the beginning, the description, the better the chance for unity in the painting. So this is a very general description. I'm going to have light foliage coming on top of here later. But I'm just blocking in an idea of where that tree might be, going right down to the edge of the river, which is somewhere through there. And I'm going to use scratching with the end of the brush, just to remind myself of where the end of the edge of the river should be somewhere through there. I'm also trying to protect the, the figure and I've used a little bit of scratching out on the um, line. So ultramarine and crimson with cadmium yellow will make a dark green effectively and that can be good for again simplifying and isolating the shape of the tree. So if I start by doing that, each tree is sort of framed by shadow, something like that. I'm trying to avoid repetition of the same mark, which rarely happens in nature. Scumbling. So some of that ultramarine blue comes through from the first wash. Let's try that go, go down here. And different angles of the brush and pressures on the brush. If I use the brush very gently I can paint into some of these shadows underneath the branches. So that makes for a general description of the shape of a tree and in order to give that a little more depth what would happen traditionally with oils since this is all dark to mid-tone is there would be some 
light tongue to come out of that. Let's block that in there as well. Different, different greens, so blue green, that's more of a blue green. Try and make these at different heights. That's not, not quite so hard at all. So it's a very, very general description of the tree. And I would follow that by introducing light with a little white mix. And that's part of the tradition in oil paint that um, I zoom into that. I'm going to have a go at making the, some of the detail in the description, but still this is a tree in shadow, but there are branches that come forwards. So I'm using very light pressure on the brush. And then there is also a trunk that is visible partially through this. Something like that there would be a trunk there too. And that's just scratching or scraffito for the moment. There'll be other trunks. Oh, it'll take a while to build this up. Like the, um, the, the trunk has a sort of pinkish grey look to it. So that would go back in as a colour. with some shadow. And when you're working wet on wet like this, you have to recharge the brush and use very light pressure on the um, wetted surface. So that'll stay, stay um, wet for quite a long time, hours. And because this is all further away, all of this area behind here, I wondered about using a blending brush to soften it. So this is the nylon brush, very soft, just keep drying it off on, and then a light touch. Just soften the edges. try and lose the sharpness of some of these edges. So that would be one layer of paint. Oil painting is very much, can be a very much a layering process. So that would lead to Further layers. And in that way the richness of the medium is built up. Lights coming this way onto this image, so the right hand side of these trees would be 
more lit up. And perhaps a little bit of softening. And in this way, gradually build up. An impression of a bank of conifers. A little bit out of focus on the other side of the stream. <laughs> 